Hi there, welcome to the addendum video to my Sega Saturn video. Uh, yeah, so today I want to go through some of the stuff people talked about and uh, explain them away. Uh, a little bit later, I'll put in a segment of me trying to show you how well, some people were angry about the texture mapping. They were basically saying that forward texture mapping wasn't the issue, blah, blah, blah. It was. I'll show you the difference. Some people also were confused what the difference is. So I drew it for you so you can understand. And yeah, keep in mind, the changes that I made would have, I believe, done the most without drastically altering the design. I believe that adding the SUDSP division unit along specifically with the extra memory would have helped a lot in decoupling it because it would let us do a lot more with the actual unit now that it's A, decoupled, and B, it can divide. That way basically, you know, you could do more. Now there was something which I didn't bring up because it wasn't the Sega Saturn, but I should talk about here, it's the 32X, yeah. I believe, honestly, that a lot of the stuff I'm talking about right now, how it could have been added, maybe even would have been added if the engineers weren't forced to stop working on the Sega Saturn to quickly shit out the 32X, which died a swift death. And it's not just hardware, software engineers as well didn't really know what they were doing with it. And you had some bad games on it that just weren't ready, the system died, and guess what? A lot of the games that were meant to come out, you know, on the 32X were made by Sega. And this was right before the Western market release of the Saturn, meaning a lot of Sega's workforce was working on dead weight and not the Saturn. And yeah, if the 32X just didn't ex- if it was just dead in the water, if it was never made, the Saturn would have probably done a lot better. And yeah, honestly, I have to say the greatest change would have probably been, and I guess the easiest would have been actually finishing the tools, but don't launch too early. Incoming, we have the texture segment. Have fun. Hello there, uh, let's explain the difference between forward and inverse texture mapping because some people are confused. Okay, so this is a texture. It's just a 4x4 four four segment, right? And this is the screen. Each one of these pixels is a screen. And this dot is basically corresponding to this. Or, you know, a grid. If we want, I'll just be using... Whoops, sorry. I will just be using, you know, the grid because it is a little bit easier to explain the issue. So, currently, just to use this simple example, inverse texture mapping, the one everybody uses, is really simple. A pixel asks itself, what texel do I belong to? Oh, this one. Okay, 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 okay. And inverse texture mapping, in this situation where everything is perfectly aligned, it works identically. But then we start twisting and turning. So let's look at it in this situation. So this pixel asks itself, keep in mind we're using inverse texture mapping, who do I belong to? Well, this is the first guy I've seen, so... And by the way, this is how it works. He's gonna check the first one. Okay, so it's this one. This guy also checks this one. You know, and they'll slowly start checking who they belong to, one by one. Until, you know, they're all kind of filled. And you would basically sort of rotate the texture. And here's the issue. When we're looking at, you know, it from basically the Texel's point of view, we start running into the issue with transparency, which is why these, you know, reds are transparent. You know, so the first tex Texel says, okay, I belong to these two pixels. And then the second Texel says, okay, I belong to this one and this one. You can already see it's been, the transparency's been broken. And then, you know, again, this guy breaks it again, this guy breaks it again, and look at this. The transparency is completely broken. When you get into the big one, it's even harder. If you would do this with, you know, standard inverse texture mapping, and if this actually, you know, had a full size, you would get something which looks like a rotated cube. Keep in mind, this is a 4x4 texture. This this is on an 8x8 pixel grid. Pretty small. Okay, so what happens if you introduce forward texture mapping? This is going to just show you how big the performance loss is. And keep in mind, this seems, you know, like a bit of an increase. Imagine how bad it is on, like, 
32 pixel size texels, you know, big text, you know, big pixels, sorry, big quads. So you do the first one, okay, this was once meant to look like, you know, something that only had a single texture. So something that was like, you know, the same transparency level. We don't have that. We have something which looks like this, and there are some patterns in it, because that's how it works, but, you know, we didn't get the unified sort of thing that we would want to get. And the reason why you wouldn't notice this if the texture wasn't transparent is because the different pixels would just keep overriding each other, and you would be none the wiser. Right, welcome back from the texture segment. I'm going to talk about the actual comments. Because some people had good ideas, some people had bad ideas. Yeah, I'm not gonna actually try to call anyone out or whatever, so in general, I'm gonna say some people had very reasonable ideas on how to cast cut the system, like removing the SH-1 that was used for the CD su subassembly, the 68 AC, there were some good ideas there. There were some confusing ideas as well, but overall, people are mostly nice. Although one guy did claim that the Sega Saturn was actually not a 3D console and that it could only do 2D. Also, another person was trying to argue about something about quads. I tried to explain it to them as best as I could, and they didn't understand how drawing large quads of full texture mapping could affect performance, and some other people were asking. So that's why you had that segment just a little bit earlier. I've also seen comments kind of saying that this is futile, why do this, what's the point, it's fun. Oh, and one guy used ChatGPT to tell me how you could improve it, I deleted that comment, it said I need to add an SSD to my fucking Saturn. 